For a pull-up, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bar and make sure you engage your lats and your shoulder blades before any other movement. So I'll show you what that looks like. Hands a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to hang and then engage those shoulder blades or those lats so that you're not in a depressed position before you even start the motion. From there, you're going to bend your elbows towards your sides so they're not going to come up in front. That'd be more like a chin-up variation and you're gonna squeeze your glats all the way up until your chin hits the bar, and then slowly come down. So again, I'll show you what that looks like. Bracing your core nice and tight, engage those lats, then drive those elbows towards your side until your chin hits, and then slow reversal down. If you need help, you can always grab a band or something similar. So you can go a knee variation, where you do a pull up with the knee in, or you can go foot variation. So you're gonna take that with two hands, place your foot underneath, it's nice and solid, straighten out that leg. This gives a little bit more help because there's more tension on the band. From there, you're going to pull up, slowly lower. If you're working to get up to multiple pull-ups, so you can only do one or even just one with help, I want you to work on eccentrics. So what that looks like is pull up or jump up, and then slow count for five on the way down. So if I couldn't do a full pull-up, I could jump to get up and then slow lower, just like that. 